Bam, bam, ba, down. Theme song. Herman the Ox delivers another log to a brand new burgage going in right on the right on the road out of town, which could be, you know, if if I this one wouldn't feel like a very safe home to live in. I feel like uh, it just, it depends how much I expand, but I do think, like I said in the previous episode, I want this to be farmland. So I mean, it might end up looking nice, but I don't know how safe you're going to feel on the edge. I would rather be. I think this burgage feels pretty good. One of these two, because you've got the loggers behind you, and these guys have got axes. You know, you're not going to attack from this angle. And then you've got some other houses here. So if you come and attack from this angle, you're going to get these guys first. You're going to be last. And they're going to see their carrots and they're going to leave you alone. You know what I mean? <laughs> Regardless, we have some pretty good approval ratings here. And we have the need for more people. We have the need for a lot more people. That being said, we, can't, we don't make a lot of food here. What do we have? Food for 22 months. So, so right now, I would say we could probably bring in like... I don't know, t three more families before we start to get a bit worried about our food. Uh, we should be good for the winter uh, as it is on its way. So that's actually starting in the next month, winter, December to February. But I think we have, you know, it says we have, th you know, nine months at least. And then and the wood, I think we can chop into the winter. I guess my one concern is like, have, have I been not giving them clothes? Are we screwed? Are they going to get really cold? I'm not 100% sure. Anyway, the point is, we're working on our wooden church. We're trying to bring some more uh, people in. I have some a decent amount of resources lying around, so I want to I want to like start to get efficiency going on here. To do that, I think we need more Hermans. Uh, where's my hitching post here? I saw in the last episode you can upgrade them, upgrade to a small stable. So I'm definitely going to do that, and then I'm going to order myself another oxen. Uh, what does the horse do? After placing a livestock merchant, well, yeah, orders can be placed once a month. I'm not really sure what the horse does. Same kind of thing, I think? But maybe the ox can drag more weight, but slower, and the horse is faster? I don't know. Anyway, we're gonna upgrade that to a small... small stable, and then order another animal. Uh, I don't know if you can do it through here. <clears throat> Excuse me. The trading post itself... Okay, honey. I only have one honey. I've only produced one honey in my apiary. Oh my goodness. I should get them out of there maybe though and put them in the granary so they can bring home some food stocks. This thing was warning me that it was full. It's doing okay right now, but we gotta be careful for that. Um, I don't know. I think you just buy the animal right through there. Can I upgrade the well at all into a fancy well? No. Our church has all the resources delivered, so it's coming together quite nicely. That's gonna be awesome. Now, I think, like... Yeah, we should build out more into this area. I think this is where our, our burgages will be best. I hit H there to bring up burgages. But I'm going to go for underground water. So let's make sure we're thinking about this as we build out. Perhaps a, a well right here or something. And a well here, but we're going to do our tavern. You know, don't worry about that right now. Now, Emmer. Nope. Flax, no. Barley, rye. There's just, there's simply, uh, simply nothing to do in this area. So it should be all industry and like, you know, deep downtown type vibes. Uh, do we want to take, I mean, this is all our land. So we could also hit C here and see if there's anything. Uh, I guess. Wait, why didn't I see that before? <laughs> the last episode I was like, oh, there's no way we're going to grow in here. Maybe it changed. I want to argue that it changed with my, with my growth. But all we can do is rye, which we haven't unlocked. Rye is the best option for down here. Flax, just no options. We gotta get over it. We gotta get, yeah, th again, I, this is still my my belief that this is our land to get. We're gonna get iron uh, and farming and stuff going in this place. This might not even be our biggest city. This might just be a smaller city. Uh, we're not even sure what we'll generate here, you know? Like, what what use is this place? The stonecutter camp, I think I want to relocate that thing. I think, okay, I can relocate it for free, so that's nice. We, you know, we obviously need to put it over there. Oh, we're about to run out of timber and block ourselves. Okay, hang on. Where should we place this thing? Let's place it over here for now. Uh, I need to be moved to the storehouse. Oh, okay, yeah, no, that's fine. Okay. Wait, why did it tell me I was about to be blocked? Hang on a minute. I don't know why it said that. I don't I don't think we're going to be blocked. We have 28 timbers lying around. And we have lots more trees left to log. Okay, so the church is coming along. I think with this out of the way, we could bring up R. 
And something at least like this. Maybe we carry straight on, but I'm not sure yet. We can for now. Let's do this. Build this way later on. And it won't cause too many problems, but later on we can uh, delete this section of road if we have to. But right now this can help us get some burgages going down. Because I think we should at least build a few more uh, ready for the times to come. So let's go like out like this maybe. Can I go like this? No. Okay. I can only do the four. Let's go out. Not like so. Like this. Rotate it so our entrance is there. Ah, it doesn't give us workshop area, does it? So that could be on me. I've, I've given too much leeway, too much land here. Okay, what if we go out like this? Oh, we can kind of curve it a bit. That's kind of funky. That's funky. Oh, there we go. Well, I didn't know you could do that. So that's pretty cool. So let's do this. Rotate that like so. Hit that minus. So now we can expand it. Oh, I took away our... So if we keep it, one person gets a... Let's... Okay, what are my options for one? There we go. Okay, wait, that's not one. Okay, there we go. Okay, so that allows me to have a small workshop. I don't know if it's worth it. This allows a workshop as well. So why don't I just do that then? Oh, ah, come on. I got them. I got those butter fingers. I got those fat fingers. Demolish. Demolish. Okay, yes, we're gonna get some burgers in here. Give me a second here. I've got to tell you, I just love how the pathfinding works here. Look at this. It's even giving a little bit of road access so you can still get a connection to that apiary. Or I could just go fully around it like that. I mean, that's really cool. I really like how it's just like little, that's, that's some like, I don't know what you call that. That is some next level like, uh, oh, it's way too small. There we go. That is some, there we go. That, we're going to do this one. That is some next level quality of life right there for a game. That's very cool. Okay, so let's bring this one down like so. That should be good. Minus, yep, good. Okay, so let's get that burgage going. And then we could probably do maybe like one more in here. But we want it, I really want it to be nestled, right? So like I envision getting another forester right here and just like doubling up on my foresting. Really just foresting the crap out of this place. Now wait, hang on a minute, I got my forester, logging, saw pit. So I do have two extra foresters going on. So I could, let's get this granary up and running. Let's go down a forester here and make sure my granary is up and running and bringing food out of the hunting camp. Rich deposit. So does it tell me, cause I, I, do, I don't wanna hunt this to extinction. The storehouse is full, oh my goodness, okay. Uh, we have a lot of firewood, maybe that's what's keeping the storehouse full. Can I upgrade it to a large one? I need 10 planks, which I'm not gonna be able to access because of all this firewood. <laughs> maybe, okay, maybe we stop doing firewood for a bit. 10 months of firewood. I don't know. Dare we? Get out of here, firewood. Go and, uh... I guess you could man uh, man the apron. No, 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 let's keep, you, let's keep you out so you can do some construction. Okay. What the other thing this is gonna do is help us get some more spear militia in. To that point, I have some regional wealth here. Oh, the church is done. Oh, yes. Look at that thing. That thing looks, oh, all right. Let's grab a, perhaps, sort of a, there, path, so that arch entrance looks a little bit more uh, workable. Oh, okay, so we need to hire somebody here. Church bell sound. Oh, I see, I can pick. <laughs> I think I like that one. People, advanced, connected to the road network. Okay, good, so it's advanced. Upgrade to a small stone church. We can do that later once we get some tiles coming in. And we do need some sort of a pastor. So let's get let's get religion going in this town here. Uh, we have the extras. Exposed goods and generic storage full. Yeah, we're working on both right now. It's, this, is, this is kind of a lot. Uh, we don't have a lot of construction workers and I'm also not sure where they are. Let's get this thing on our highest priority because I wonder if it's slowing down my like oxen. Oh no, there's the oxen. Okay. 
Yeah, yeah, they're working on these Burgage plots, which are closer, I guess, than like this one all the way over there. So if we get those three built, we should have people moving in fairly soon. And they're going to like living here due to the uh, to the church and stuff. Small stable is complete. See, now that looks quite nice. So I like that. Herman has a nicer place to live. We have 20 gold, so let's spend that. Livestock order placed, so we are going to get another Herman. Uh, now, onto the trade. One person running it. Good. Not a lot of money coming in after, because we've been using our planks, but we'll try to sell those again. And I'd love to get going on, like, honey sales, but we're not really making that much. We have a lot of berries. Honestly, the berries sell for the same price. My goodness. Okay, that's good to know. Let's do something like that. The berries sell for a better price than, like, farmed crops do. That's good to know. The other thing I'd like to do, and we can't afford it yet, is open up and get some more spears in here. So actually, let's sell some berries too then. So let's open up this trade route. Let's set this to export. And let's set our uh, desired surplus to 80. So we'll sell everything over 80 at three coins a turn. So that's pretty good. That's, I feel like that's going to bring in some cash, and then we should be able to open up some uh, armor purchasing because I think that's the best way to get our, our people armed at the moment uh, because we need, we need iron and stuff. There's clay deposit over here. The very deposit is now done. There is a small iron deposit we could focus on, but let's not worry about that right now. We do have to be careful though, I guess, because the berries are pr uh, let's think about this. The berries are pretty much our only food. Oh, wait, do we have... Okay, oh, five gold. Okay, I should have maybe got some more farmland for that. So that was a bit short-sighted. We'll see, we'll see. Because we are headed into the winter, so... 23 months. Yeah, I mean, we've got, they got a lot of meat. They could just go on sort of an Atkins diet if they need to. Another thing I've reali realized I can do is I have the... Uh, I have the wood. I have the timber. I could just expand the living space and get that extra little, uh, little home going. We do need a clothing supply. Okay, so we need to start working on clothing ASAP here. Uh, but let's, in the meantime, expand the living space and see what that looks like. I think that's going to be cool. All but 81 of my berries were just sold for 116 doubloons. Now, this is tricky. Because this means I can open up the ga Gambesons route. But then I have to, of course, buy stuff and, and sell stuff to purchase these things. I think I'm going to go about this. A oh, large shields would be good too. And helmets. Oh my goodness. They're not that expensive either. <sighs> I want to save up and get spears coming in. And then large shields, of course. We have a lot of purchasing to do. I think I'm going to actually go back internal now. Right? And I'm going to get some farmland going on this one. Uh, okay, they've got a chicken coop. These guys, let's get you going with a vegetable garden. I, I kind of like the trees in here, so I'm going to leave it for now. Let's go chicken coop as well. Um, and then this one's getting built here. Okay, so that's uh, yeah, that's a good chunk of our money, but let's, let's keep going here. What do you have? You have nothing. So what about goats, which is a passive yield of hides, which I think we could then start turning into, of course, clothing. And let's go vegetable garden. There we go. So we'll start to see some more market stalls too. And that will hopefully provide us a little more food. Maybe not during the winter, but we should make it through the winter, I think. Yeah, somebody's got to go get that log. There we go. Thank you. A cold winter sets into our little medieval land. It's looking pretty good, this village. It looks like it really did kind of crop up and grow around uh, a road that kind of digs through this forest. It looks really natural. I like it. Um, I don't know. I should look up medieval towns and see if this is what they look like uh, in earnest. But but right now, I'm quite happy with how this looks. Uh, I have 24 regional wealth left. I could do a vegetable garden for that. I might just wait on this and just see what I need this money for. Folks are starting to come in slowly but surely. The ape area probably is not doing anything right now, is it? I could assume it's not doing anything. Anyway, I think we start thinking about, you know, crewing up here. So we have our clay deposit. I uh, The iron is all the way over there. We're going to worry about that later. But we do have this clay over here. We do have the need for more burgages eventually. 
Uh, let's get these uh, people doing something. So let's get a... How about we do a chopper over here? A logging camp to produce the timber. So I'm going to place that right here. Eventually we're going to destroy that. Uh, but I want to kind of chop everything down here and really start getting ready to grow all of this. I might even just like... So fly... Okay, emmer or rye. That's all we can do. We're not doing barley or anything else. So this is going to be it for our wheat fields. And eventually we're going to try to unlock rye, of course. And we're going to farm in all of that. And then eventually maybe even put our sheep pastures on this. That is one thing I didn't think about. We could probably put a sheep pasture. We could probably be doing sheep farming, could we not? Uh, sheep farm. Workers collect wool from grazing sheep. Sheep must first be imported via the, via the livestock trader. So that's the pasture. Let me just see something here. If I go... <laughs> pasture space 52. Probably don't need that many. Uh, house position extension slot. Okay. Yeah, so we could actually start doing sheep. Uh, maybe even in this little distance area here. And then kind of build towards this clay here. I don't know how much... It's 139 clay. There's a part of me that's like... We probably shouldn't... You know, get too into this tile production here. But I mean, hey, what else are we going to do? Not, you know, do this kind of thing? So, let's get a storehouse uh, built along this road for it shall be useful. So we're going to go storehouse here and then the road is going to kind of like, I don't know, cur curl around just for fun. Can I just do like something like this? There we go. Oh, yeah. hey, the curve, I still haven't quite figured out how to use the curve. But anyway, that kind of looks nice. There we are. So that's going to go to our production industry clay furnace right here. Okay, that didn't seem to get any, get rid of any clay, so that's good. Let's go over here, though, and make sure this gets built first. There we are. We have the timber. I know we have the timber. Alright, so this is going to be my clay workflow. Another storehouse over here. We may need yet another storehouse, actually. Oh, wait. Let's upgrade this one. Let's make that our highest. Okay, let's pop this one down by one. There we go. I don't know how much more that gives us, but that'll hopefully help uh, for a little bit because we're going to get a lot of timber from over in this area. Okay, so that's the clay furnace. That's this. Resources are by six and 14. Oh, my goodness. Okay, we got to get rid of these raiders. I just don't think we're ready yet. <laughs> we need to make more money first. Okay. So from there, we're going to get a storehouse and clay furnace going. Other than that, we could do the tannery. How many hides do I have? Uh, what is it? Oh, here we go. Crafting material. 64 hides. I have a lot of hides, actually, already, so that's pretty good. Are they being stored in here? I actually don't know anymore. <laughs> okay. So let's get our, our tannery going on here. Uh, yeah, right? Or no, wait down there a little bit that could be kind of fun no I want it right on the right on the main road people suffering from disease may stop working access to herbs might speed up their recovery while a very diet increases disease resistance who's there? oh no I hate it when they give me that because it's like I can't tell maybe this is early access but I cannot tell where these all these sick people are oh I've got two two oxen now yes the efficiency increases um, okay, let's get the tannery going. Uh, weaver's workshop, probably, if we're going to go... Uses wool to produce yarn and flax to produce linen. So we could probably just do yarn. Tannery makes leather. And then what puts it all together? <laughs> That's the real question. Maybe I have to unlock that. And dyes could probably fetch a good price on the markets. But I think I need to eat those still. All right, I think we need to wait to get into iron. Uh, to craft tools, though. Wait, are we low on tools? Oh, my goodness. We are low on tools, aren't we? I wonder what the tools do. Hopefully, we aren't totally screwed right now. No, no, people still seem to be doing work. So, the tools are clearly not that important. <laughs> All right. I think we go Weaver's Workshop. I think we... Yeah, we experiment with a little bit of farmland here. Although, that, to do that... Okay, let's get this. Okay, we got a lot of building to do through the winter, but I think that's okay. Let's go for a... Uh, uh, where is it? Residential? No. 
Just my why can I never trade? There we go. Livestock trading post. Two timber. Let's do it. Maybe right next to it. There. That feels good. Okay, boys. You've got a lot to build. I've got two unassigned families. Get to building. I'm really trying hard not to grow too fast, but uh, in one of my uh, Manor Lord streams, uh, one of the uh, more active subscribers, Mr. Steven Thetford, you know who you are. You've been called out. You're being doxxed. Uh, asked me to build a burgage right next to the church so that it could be the rectory. I uh, wasn't able to make it work in that one, but I'm going to make it work here in honor, uh, in mem in his memory. <laughs> I don't listen. I don't think he's dead, but <laughs> wait, is this not Burgess? Why is it? It's reading as a, a black line. I don't know why it's doing that. It's ah, oh, it's too small. I've done it again. Oh, he's gonna be so mad at me. Okay, wait, hang on. Let's 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 think about this because again, this road is starting to look a little too straight. So that's okay. This gives us the opportunity. To do exactly what I said earlier. First of all, we connect that road. We could go. We could do something, you know, like this, and then this, right? Now that looks a lot more villagey. Now this should be enough. Why has the color changed? Wasn't it white before? Oh, I think it's because it's. Of course, I'm an idiot. It's because it's the winter. Okay, so let's rotate that so that the house. Is there? There's their workshop. The house kind of goes to the church. That's actually a fairly large uh, burgage, and I like that. So I like what it's done to the look now. Ooh, the bell's ringing. I think we can get another burgage in here and bring this road around here because I didn't quite do the water. I should have put a well here, but I was getting carried away. So I'm gonna put a well over here. Uh, it's a bit of a lost well. You know what I mean? Like this is not necessarily, you know, the the most important well in the city, but it, it takes advantage of that water. We know we need it. There we go. And another more winding path. Honestly, I think that's going to be the secret to making this look more natural, is windy paths. I think this is going to be another yet another large burgage as well. So let's go something like this. Bang! Something like that. And I mean, again, look at that size. That's actually pretty good. So let's go for... What if we what if we flipped it though so that the workshop was here? And now I'm gonna flip it here so because the houses should kind of line up like a little village. There we go. So these folks are gonna kind of move in here. That's gonna look really awesome and nestled. We'll have to kind of do the same vibe out here. Probably get some sheep farms, but those folks, one of those folks at least, will be able to get to work on the tannery, uh, which is the last thing I need before I can turn these burgages into level twos. I need to provide some sort of leather, at least, or leather and yarn. Tannery is built a little out on the outskirts of town, but I'm told that it stinks quite a lot. Somebody else in another, like, foundation, we were playing that game. I think people were pointing out that the tannery smells quite bad. I will notice that, okay, if you compare things to Ostriv, which I have done in the past, you, I, I will say that things are a little more simple current in this current build of the game. So the tannery doesn't need lie, and it doesn't need me to find out, you know, find other resources for the tannery to function. It simply takes input of hides and turns it into leather. He's getting lie from somewhere. I don't know where, but uh, I'm not going to ask him because I know he'll just uh, fib, you know. One tip I'll give, like this storehouse here. All right, we just finished building it. Well, it'll be active eventually. 250 is what it holds. Well, I upgraded this storehouse into like a barn thingy. And this bad boy holds 2,500. So like 10 times. Uh, so that uh, a two timber upgrade was well worth it. In fact, I could do a lot of those upgrades here where, where there were, you know, the available granny houses. That would also help bring in a lot of people, but I'm not going to, I'm gonna do it here. <laughs> Cause I feel like it, but I'm not, I don't want to do that too much. Uh, I, uh, I, I do need to be careful. I think we're bringing in a lot of people. But again, look at this though. Like, look at that low population. It still says low population growth, but I don't believe it. I believe a 70% approval rating is about as strong as we might get. A clothing stall has just been built in Southling Shire. Something that I probably waited too long to get built, but hey, it's starting now. And we're gonna start to see some upgrades soon. Deep into January, we've done it. We've got our first 
Burgage that wants to be upgraded. Or at least it will let me upgrade it. Now, I am definitely not going to do this too often because I have no idea uh, the, the hell that this will unlock. Um, I They're going to have all kinds of requirements, you know what I mean? Now, these two, they have also both have farms going on. So I want one that I didn't in, uh, build anything yet. Simply because... Oh, I don't have clothes yet, though. Uh, I don't want to lose those... I want to, you know, make an artisanal... You know, I want to make a workshop here as well. So, uh, level two that can have a workshop is more important than getting rid of a carrot farm. So, I think we do this one. I think this burgage here is about to become a level two. It's a little bit spicy because you're kind of on the outskirts of sort of like a lot of the industry. Where it's like the central stuff is here. But you can get to this market and that's kind of all that matters. Plus, you'll be near the tavern, so that's fun. We can expand the living space later, but right now, bang, our very first level two. Construction is underway. They're working so hard. I love watching this family. I think the family is maybe even working on their own house to help it. If I'm not mistaken, this one also had this outhouse. No, that can't be. That's got to be something else. Because, yeah, it looks it's more of a structure like this one. Which is wild that a little family lives in this shack. That's so sad, but hey, they let me build it, so I did. Some people, you know, it's medieval times. Not everyone's going to have a good life. Uh, these people are certainly about to have a slightly better life, though, than the others. Oh, they took down the roof? Oh my goodness, what is happening? I thought they would have done that already. Okay, so what is this construction going to look like? Oh, that's not bad. It's, a, it's definitely stronger looking. It's got a bit of a Tudor vibe to it, and it's got a little... Oh, that little window. I don't know what you call that window, but it's nice. Oh my goodness, this looks great. We now have our very first Burgage Plot Level 2. Now, is it still humble? You better believe it, but it has an outhouse. Whereas this d doesn't seem to. It seems like you go somewhere else and do your business. So this isn't an out... This isn't some sort of granny flat. This is for, um, you know, wood storage, I assume, or something. Love the outhouse, though. That is the... That is... Oh, you can almost kind of see inside. That is the peak of luxury right there. Now, uh, oh, we ah, darn it. I, the exact thing I didn't want to do. Oh, well, it's been done now. So I, I think this is the one I should have upgraded. But let's take a look at my options. Now I can turn this into a blacksmith workshop. Converts all inhabitants to artisans, locking them from being assigned to other jobs. Okay, that's good. Enables production of tools, spears, and sidearms. The problem is they're going to require... There's no way that doesn't require um, iron. Taylor's Workshop. Version of clothes, cloaks, and gambesons. Could be good. Bakery extension. Oh, we're missing a development branch for that. Okay. Uh, enables production of wooden parts and shields. That could be good. The Boyer's Workshop could... Uh, we could get some archers going on. If I make up a an archery team, what do these guys need? Oh, they that's it, though. They just need bows. So we need shields, we need spears, and we need bows. And then we need people. Uh, but I think this secondary burgage... Unfortunately, instead of a boyer's workshop, we should probably go with a joiner's workshop to make some shields. We can always sell them. And then we can stop selling our planks. So you are going to make shields. You, once we get you upgraded, which we can actually, are probably going to make uh, bows, I think. We should start making bows because either that or we start selling them. You know what I mean? Uh, oh, crap. Now that they're doing this, I actually can't check in on what it is that their uh, uh, new needs are, but we'll w wait for that to get built. Artisanal workshops can sometimes produce multiple types of goods to select what good is being produced. Check the general tab in the building panel. Okay, so... Uh, joiner's shop. Uh, oh, right, and also it took them off of the job, too, so I have to remember that. All right, the general tab. Uh, small shields. Let's go large shields, I think. Wooden parts is sweet, but we'll worry about that later. So, let's go large shields, because I think that's what the spearmen need. And uh, I wish I could see... I think the... These footmen need small ones. Okay. So, that's going to be good, and then we're going to get some archers going. But we simply don't have the people to run archers just yet. 
Uh oh, already this burgage plot causes a loss of approval. Check the building panel. So what's my loss here? That's not really saying anything. Okay, let's take a look. Tavern. Oh crap. A level two church and a fuel stall supply. Okay, so these ones I can fill later. Clothing stall needs to get better. Approval will fall if not fulfilled. Enough fuel in the marketplace stalls. Okay, wait, what's happened? Oh, whoops. Okay, so let's get <laughs> let's get the woodcutter woodcutter's lodge up and running again. Uh, and I think we have two loggers there, so we could actually do this. Forester. Okay, let's go. Let's get two woodcutters going on just to replenish our fuel and make sure that that house doesn't get too angry with us. We have received a new message. Reports of a band of raiders roaming the nearby lands. Should we track their steps? Uh, prepare for the attack. 365. I get one year to prepare for the attack or we'll be ready. Uh, wait, what does that mean? What does we'll be ready mean? Well, let's track their movement, I guess. Raiders near. Prepare for the attack. Oh, no. We have 365 days to prepare for an attack. Oh, my goodness. Are these the raiders? Is this where they're coming from? If yes, how many? Let's see if I count this. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Is that 17? I don't know. There's maybe 16 men strong ready to come for us. We, uh, 20 versus these people is probably not good. Also, we have a loss of approval on this burgage plot that I'm trying to get to level two, but this one seems to be okay now that it has its fuel. I do need to start getting going on ale. So uh, to get ale, uh, what did I? <laughs> I forget what I needed to farm. Uh, oh no, it's barley, isn't it? Crap, dude! I can't make. I can't farm. Ooh, I can't farm barley anywhere. I could farm barley right here. I got a new development point though, so that's nice. There's got to be another way to make money. I know we're making a little bit of regional wealth from these guys once we get them to level two, but. Uh, I don't think that's enough. Uh, I would like you to start making uh, war bows, please, so we can start rage raising some archers. We have 364 days now to get ready for those archers. Oh, how long is this going to be? This could not be very very long. It's it's technically a whole year, so it should be the entire year here, and then the raiders will begin their attack. I think that sounds like the perfect point to prepare us for episode three, <laughs> the cliffhanger. In 363 days now, we will be attacked. Are we ready enough? I I think not. I definitely want some more spearmen. But we'll see if this uh, if we can help defend the spearmen with some archers from the rear. And then the spearmen can maybe just hold their ground instead of having to do all the work. They can hopefully fight a weakened foe. A weakened foe that is nonetheless hell-bent on attacking this lovely little village of South Southland, Southlingshire. I hope you found this to be very solid. I know I did. I very much enjoyed myself. This game, I am just obsessed with it. I mean, look at that. How, what, are you gonna, what are you supposed to do? Not play this game every waking second you have? As soon as your little baby is having a nap, you just play this game? Yes, exa that's exactly what I'm going to do. <laughs> we will see you all in the next episode of Mana Lords and the attack. <laughs>